Dr. Taj, shed some light on the fact that apparently it's becoming more and more uh, uh, obvious that tremendous amount of people with headaches, migraines, um, shoulder pain and back pain, um, neck pain, but definitely migraines, that after they've gone to many doctors and maybe got some relief because pain pills and stuff like that, but it ends up being a DMJ problem, a CHA problem, uh, for whatever reason that happened, where the, the mouth doesn't fit together and like hinges and it pulls all the nerves and the muscles and it gets headaches. And dentists apparently uh, are an overlooked area there to fix that. Uh, can you tell us about it? Is that true in the first place? Just answer it, it whether there's some truth to it or not. There is truth to it, yes. Good. Now, how do you dentists fix that? And how often okay. is there a truth to it? Is it is it much more often than people assume? Um, should people go to a dentist who knows how to fix DMJ fairly fast if they happen to have headaches and stuff like that? Yes, it is absolutely worth looking into because. As migraines and, and uh, un, unexplained headaches um, um, are linked to what we call occlusal muscle disorder. It's when the teeth don't come together properly because of past orthodontic treatment or trauma or what have you. The, the joints and muscles that support the face... Um, Missing teeth, absolutely, yes. Um, it, it, the joint and muscles that support the face and the, um, the oral structures are constantly working. They're constantly working and they're, they become overworked. So they, that triggers that type of pain. And um, sometimes it's as simple as a, a 15 minute diagnostic uh, process that we do in the office and, and we find out what the source of the issue is, um, and then we can proceed forward. Now, how do you proceed forward? Is the treatment very invasive, like putting out all the teeth and, uh, I don't know, something like that? Or uh, uh, is it, um, you know, what is the treatment? Give us, I mean, I'm sure there are many, depends on the case, uh, but give us, shed some light on of what the treatment is. Okay. The, um, the, the largest part is the, the most work is in the diagnosis. Once we diagnose where the, what the issue is, sometimes it's as, it, as simple as an occlusal, what we call occlusal adjustment, whereby we, we paint those surfaces of teeth that are coming together and then we adjust them so that they hit in a, in a more favorable position. And, uh, sometimes it's replacing missing teeth. Um, on occasion, we might recommend orthodontic treatment, and if orthodontic is not fe feasible, we can move teeth and shift them with, uh, with uh, fillings or crown coverage, uh, or even a night guard, a device that patients wear, so at least part of the day they, are, they, they relieve their muscles and joints from that constant pressure. Yeah, I've heard that, uh, you know, like a night guard is actually a relatively often used one because quite often there is grinding involved, which then again, you know, you know, imagine if you use a certain muscle all the time. Well, I don't have to tell you, I guess, you know, and then obviously that happens. So, and then a mouth cut quite often relieves uh, that very, very much. Is, is yeah, some true to that also? Yes. Beautiful. Yes. So, yes. If, uh, because, you know, having a migraine, I mean, thanks God, I actually don't get it. The only time I get a headache is if I eat bad food and, uh, you know, until I throw up, I get a headache. And that usually happens quite often. <laughs> I mean, not, it happens quite fast, not often. Um, quite fast right. till I throw up and then it's all gone. But um, it, it, it's, it must be awful. I know people and they, my sister has it all the time in, in Austria. And um, it, it, it's, it's difficult, you know. So... They should look into that. It's not 100% sure that it is this the cause, but at least you want to eliminate it as the cause, right? In majority of cases, it is. It can be the cause, and um, the solution is relatively simple. It sounds a lot better to me than a lot of aspirin every day. Yes. All right. Here you have it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Flash.